Hi, let's talk about obstetric forceps and learn its application on a dummy. Forceps has blade, shank, lock and handle. We must ensure that the following prerequisites are fulfilled before we apply the forceps. On per abdomen, head is less than one fifth palpable. On PV examination, the patient is fully dilated, fully effaced. Membranes have been ruptured. The caput molding is less than 2 plus. Sutures are in AP direction with a rotation of less than 45 degrees and pelvis is adequate. The patient is consenting and cooperating and there is OT backup available. Once we decide we want to apply forceps, we must explain the procedure to the woman, take a verbal consent, do a per abdomen and PV examination to ensure that the prerequisites are fulfilled, empty the bladder and apply the local anesthesia. Phantom application of forceps is done. We hold the left blade in our left hand in a pen holding fashion. The right hand goes in the sacral hollow. Now the left blade is inserted in the sacral hollow and without pushing it inside, it is rotated such that the blade lies parallel to the inguinal ligament of the mother. Now with the thumb of right hand, the blade is pushed and placed over the parietal bone of the baby. The assistant is now asked to hold this blade. Similarly, the right blade is now applied, holding it in a pen holding fashion in right hand, guided by the left hand, rotating it so that it lies parallel to the inguinal ligament. And with the thumb of our left hand, the blade is guided and placed over the parietal bone of the baby. The left and the right blades are locked. The placement of the forceps is checked. The handle of the forceps should lie along the sagittal suture. The forceps is two to three finger breadth below the posterior fontanelle and the grooves of the blade accept one finger. Traction is then applied along with maternal contractions in downward and outward direction till the perineum bulges. At this time an episiotomy may be performed. Gradually, the direction of the traction is made more upwards to mimic the normal delivery of the birth by extension. The right blade is removed followed by left blade. This is followed by delivery of the body of the baby, active management of third stage, delivery of placentine membranes, checking for any tears and repairing episiotomy and other tears if present. We must stop application of forceps if there is difficulty in the application or locking of the blades, if there is minimal or no descent with three or more pulls, or it has been more than 12 minutes of application.